Shalom. Hi, this is Jerusalem Jane. Just a news update here from Israel. This morning, two Muslim terrorists tried to get on board a bus full of Jewish children. I can't even find the words to describe how that makes me feel. That two men, Arab men, are trying to butcher children here in Israel. What's going on here now is just absolutely horrendous. The Jewish people are not safe anywhere. I was in the post office today and I was being served by a very, very nice lady. And we start talking about who I'm here and what I'm doing. And she looks at me and she said, I have a son who is in the IDF. I got stomach pain every time he has to leave his base. I don't get calm. I don't calm down until he calls me and he says, Mom, I'm fine. I arrived. My daughter, who's a grown-up, also wanted to go to the movies last night with her boyfriend. And everything inside of me was actually thinking, I'm going to say to my grown kid, please don't go to the movies. That was what this lady was telling me. She says, I'm afraid. I'm afraid just to go shopping. That's the situation right near, now here in Israel. Why? Because my Abu Mazen Mahmoud Abbas is out encouraging all of these killing, saying we welcome all the Jewish blood who was running in the streets. Hamas is out saying now, you know, we are going to continue all the attacks until we have liberated Palestine. And at the same time, Ban Ki-moon is here beating on Bibi. You have to give in, you have to give in, you have to make peace. And, and today John Kerry is saying the same thing in Germany when he's meeting Benjamin Netanyahu. Why don't you go to Ramallah and speak to Abbas? Oh, wait, Ban Ki-moon is doing that today. Is he saying the same to him? Is he saying, what the beep are you doing? Encouraging to go kill Jewish children. Encouraging your children and your women to go slaughter the Jewish people. What are you doing? No, 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 no. They don't know how to do that. It's always just coming at Israel, coming at Israel. I was downtown Jerusalem today. We have armed IDF soldiers in full gear and uniform standing on almost every bus stop. We are living in a country, in a in a capital right now, where you need, I mean, it's outrageous what the Jewish people has to face here. The attacks, the abuse, the lies, the BDS, the anti-Semitism, all of these things that the Jewish people has to endure. No other country would, would agree to do what Israel is doing. Israel has to restrain, you have to show restraint. Give me a break. The Jewish people are being slaughtered right here out on the street and they have to show restraint. Why is it that Israel is being held to stand up that no other country in the world would ever meet? Ever. It's just like Israel is this punching bag. The Jewish people are this punching bag. Then you can just kick and just abuse and kill. And for just for the sake of it, this is not about land. If you think this is about land, that the Jewish people stole some land in 1948, you need to wake up. The Jewish people has been haunted and killed and persecuted for centuries. It is about an evil, demonic spirit, hate that is coming towards the Jewish people. When you see every summer how Hamas is sending thousands and thousands of children into summer camp, boot camps, in full uniform, giving them live ammunition, learning to shoot, learning how to kill Jews. We are seeing videos now how parents are learning their kids how to go out and stab and kill the Jewish people. That is what the kids are being taught up. Israel don't have a peace partner. Israel never had a peace partner. No Arab leader would ever be in a position where he is allowed to make peace with Israel. If he did, if he signed a peace agreement, he would be killed within the next five minutes. They don't want peace with Israel. They want the destruction of Israel. It's in, written in the Hamas Charter. You can give away 97% of this nation to the Arabs and they will still not be satisfied as long as one Jewish people is alive. So the world needs to wake up and realize this is not about land. This is a pure and deep hate coming against the Jewish people. And for that reason, they are being butchered right now in the streets of Jerusalem and outside Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and Tel Aviv in, in all of Israel. It's just, it's unbelievable. 
And that is why I am on Israel One Nation trying to get the news out, trying to share news from the Israeli news sites down here so you know the truth, so you know what's happening. That's why I'm making videos. That's why I'm speaking my mind. And that's why I'm really trying just to be that voice and stand in the gap for Israel. And because someone has to, someone has to tell the truth. And right now we are actually approaching 7,000, no not 7, 17, it's unbelievable, 17,000, 17,000 followers on Israel One Nation. And guys, I just, I forgive me, I'm receiving so many emails uh, from people that are watching my videos. Uh, I am doing more and more interviews. I just, I did three radio interviews just today. I just got up, I was online um, on the air live right now to all of America. I did three interviews today. I'm doing more and more interviews and uh, I love you for wanting to put me on the air and, and to be that voice that speaks the truth out of Israel. And because I'm doing more and more media, more and more people are um, contacting me and saying thank you. And we, So please bear with me, please bear with me because I cannot keep up on all the emails that I'm getting. I, I, I try to read them, but just give me a little time to, to respond to you. Uh, but thank you for your love. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for all your comments. And, and um, because when you do this, this tells me that you love Israel. And this is what this is all about. This is about that united we stand for Israel. United we stop, uh, we, we show love to Israel and we speak the truth in a world that is really just getting more and more anti-Semitic. So this is just Jerusalem Jane saying, I love you and I am grateful for your prayers. I'm still having uh, threat coming, threats coming at my life. I'm in a situation right now where I actually need to move. Um, you see a little bit of my apartment. I have my lady bags back here. I'm actually in a very nice apartment now that I need to rent out and I need to find a place a little bit higher in a building where people can access as easy where I am now. So if you need a good apartment, you inbox me because mine is available. I need a good apartment that is more safe and secure than where I am now. So if you know about that, please contact me. And I also just again want to speak from my heart and say I have a donate page here on Israel One Nation. If you go on my webpage www.jerusalemjane.com, there is a donate page, a PayPal link on the upper right corner. I'm standing for Israel and if you want to bless Israel through the work that I'm doing here, if you appreciate who I am, what I'm doing here and you want to keep me here to comfort, comfort my people, to be an encouragement for the Jewish people and also be that new source that you are using. If you value what I'm doing here, I would really encourage you to partner with me on this journey that God has me on here in Israel. God says he will bless those that bless Israel. So I want to encourage you to be a part of, of what I'm doing here. Um, I'm living strictly by donations. Israel is a, it's a very expensive uh, land so the, to live in. Um, rent alone is really sky high. And I'm in a situation, like I just said now, where I need to move. I, I really need money to come in. So from my heart, I'm just saying, please partner with me and please stand with me and stand with Israel through the work that God is having me do here. Because I will not be quiet. I will not be intimidated. I will not run away. I will keep speaking the truth out of Zion for the Jewish nations. So please go visit uh, JerusalemJane.com and Israel One Nation. Thank you.